Start on the east rand of Gauteng and Ekoroleni once more without a mayor. This after Tanya Campbell voted out just a few moments ago, in fact. She was facing a second motion of no confidence within six months. ENCA's Pulele Chwiti Jones following that story for us, joining us now. Pule, it's really hard to keep track of all these motions of no confidence uh, and the musical chairs taking place at local government. Just give us the specifics of what happened today to us, Tanya Campbell of the DA. Definitely, we saw this coming as well. Uh, just after the city of Twani had elected its new mayor after much political swabbling, we now hear where the speaker has declared vacancy in the position of the mayor, of course, being Tanya Campbell. What we understand is that there's now a bit of horse trading going on between who takes the mayoral chain, the mayoral candidate, who, who could be potentially elected would come from either the AIC or the ICM as well. The EFF has already um, fielded in um, their member, who, who we now know is the um, Speaker of Council. But to get more context around what this means for the city, we're speaking to the Kokta MEC, Mzi Kumal. Mzi, thank you very much for chatting to us this afternoon. Let's perhaps talk about uh, today why you're here as an MEC and what this means for the municipality. We are here because we are concerned about the stability of municipalities in Gauteng because uh, at the centre of this instability, people who are getting affected are the ordinary uh, people on, 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 on the ground. Our people that are found in informal settlement, in the township, in hostels, and all over in the jurisdiction of these particular municipalities. So we want greater cooperation among parties. We want stability among parties who are more concerned of service delivery and the stability of municipalities. Secondly, we are here because of cooperative governance. The fact that there must be working together of national, provincial and local government. And we must make a point, because I listened carefully to the people who were debating the, the motions. I think one of the issues that they raised quite well was that uh, the executive mayor was uh, operating outside that. And we want to agree with them, because we've been making the point to all our mayors in, in the province that please, let's work together. Because when I'm here as the MEC, I'm a public servant. And I need to cooperate with all, 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 all the mayors that are there. We want to uh, make that uh, a point clear to all the mayors. Whatever the politics you have, once you are in the institution and elected, please, there's something called cooperative government, government work with, with us. Because there are quite a number of things that we could have supported uh, this municipality with. And th those things that we want to support this mun municipality is going forward. For instance, we had a meeting with the AG. The AG would have identified issues that affect our municipalities in general in, in the province and specifically issues that affect Eguruleni. And as per our mandate as a COCTA in the province, we want to support all these particular municipalities and we want to work with all the municipalities without any political affiliation and, and so on. But thirdly, we are here to look at how do this thing called coalitions um, um, evolve within the politics of, 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 of our particular country. But I need to make the point that I've been making. <clears throat> What's disappointing with that coalition, with coalition is that from a substance point of view, you don't have a clear understanding of what people are agreeing on. What, what is the service delivery program that people are, are agreeing on? <clears throat> now, listening to this debate, say, particularly to all the parties that said we want this mayor out, I would hope that they must leave to the commitment and the issues that they've raised. They've raised quite a number of issues that has to do with uh, service delivery of our people underground, I would hope. And some of them have raised quite a lot of issues that have to do uh, with the policy that has to be f uh, focused on and has to be implemented by this municipality. I hope that it was just not statement to remove the mayor. I would hope that they must take all of this. They must just go back to their statement. And out of their statement, if they can go back and commit themselves to the kind of things that they said, I see Eguruleni moving forward. Would you say it's, it has become a, you know, a problem in the city? I mean, uh, Tanya was elected last year in October. She was ousted. Two weeks later, reinstated again. Today we see this motion against this wall. 
is this a problem in Gauteng? We saw what happened recently in the city of Tswane as well, whereby there were issues around the election of the speaker and the mayor. He even wrote a letter to the speaker to say, give me reasons why you're postponing and not electing a mayor. Has this become a concern, these motions against the executives in their positions? You know, one of the things that we are looking at is that what are the options that a municipality is faced with when there is a dispute? And quite frankly, from a policy perspective and from the rules or the law perspective, the only uh, conflict resolution mechanism that municipalities have is a motion of no confidence. So hence we, 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 we emphasize the issue of cooperative governance because what we want to do, we want to work with mayors and the speakers to develop more conflict resolution mechanisms within the rules of council. For instance, you, you can build in a mediation process that uh, when there's a, a dispute, can't we look at it differently before we go to the, 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 the motion of, of no confidence. That's, that's number one. Number two is that we must accept, of course, that we are within a party uh, political system, uh, that people represent the mandate from their parties that at some point people act on the basis of the interest of the party, a political interest as, as, as such. But the point we want to emphasize is we've got to ensure that as public representatives working together with the mayors and all of his bearers and councillors of municipalities and including parties, that we must at least agree on the minimum. What will it mean for us to be in a coalition? What are the issues that need to bring us together? And quite frankly, as a COPTA, all that we're saying is that put together service delivery issues. Agree on the minimum and, and disagree where, 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 where you disagree. But at the center of all these discussions we want to have is that the, 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 the rate payer, the, a member of community down there who's expecting service from us as provincial government, national government, and local government must inform the kind of decisions that we, we need to. The other point is that people must be patient with the law. The fact that uh, 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 the executive mayor Tanya was elected and reinstated and so on is because we are not patient with the law, we are not patient with our own rules that we develop within councils, and therefore it is very important. That is why, if you look at us, We've been observing uh, what is happening. Uh, somebody last time, uh, other time asked me, why are you not intervening? I said, no, we've got to observe the law because municipalities are a sphere of government. We've got to give them a chance to deal with their own internal affairs. And at a point when we think that people are acting outside the law, that's when we would come in. That's why you see us keep on writing letters to the speakers, asking for clarities and so on. We're not doing it for fun of it, but we know that at some point when we make an act and, and somebody take us to court, we will be able to produce that, of course, we observe the, the due process. All right, thank you very much. Of course, that is Mzik Mawlevi Kokta, MEC, speaking to us this afternoon, Sally. Interesting how uh, the Gauteng um, provincial government is keeping a, a very firm eye on what's going on in these metros. Pule, just briefly, Tanya Campbell's out. When is a new mayor going to be voted in? Well, what you understand right now is that the INC officials have been allowed to enter the council chambers. That's where the parties will then present their mayoral um, candidates. From there onwards, uh, we will see that voting process getting underway. But it is quite clear that right now the ANC-led alliance, which includes the EFF and the Super 7, which includes minority parties such as the AIC, NFP, and ICM, will then have the numbers. And it seems as though they will be having their candidates emerge victorious. But shortly, within a couple of minutes from now, that process will be underway. All right. Well, thank you so much for keeping us up to speed. I'm sure we'll chat to you again this evening, Pulele Chwiti Jones, at the Ekoreleni City Council. Tanya Campbell out, a new mayor about to be voted in. Of course, the other.